All right, guys, so I decided to rebuild my Volvo Penta DPS cylinders, I believe. What you will find is that you could actually leave the cylinder housing on the boat. You just pull these straight out. Uh, you just have to knock this large uh, three-quarter pin out. Uh, that's the one that holds your trim uh, cylinders. Inside it, what you'll find is you're going to be pulling this assembly out. It has a bunch of springs in it. Don't worry when you're taking it off because... Uh, it's not loaded. It still gives you a couple threads left when you're backing this off. Uh, there's a lot of springs here, as you see. Uh, what happens, um, you have an external seal, which is this guy that gets gunked up. And there's an O-ring in here. Uh, don't forget that one. Uh, that's right there. That's got to come out. Those are your externals. And there's two O-rings on here that you will see, that you will see right there. This o-ring gets chewed up because it doesn't have a proper gland and this outer one is okay. So we're going to clean all that up. The way this assembles if it falls apart on you is basically this nail type of uh, feature goes into the spring and a ball goes in first. So the ball is actually the sealing agent. Pop that in there and then you take stuff the nail inside here and pop that right in there. Okay, there should be holes inside that's what you're trying to seal some of the kits have an o-ring here uh, to avoid leak down and uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use them yet I gotta double check um, that's about all you really need to know uh, on this portion which is this guy my seals completely fell apart but that's what they look like there's a white seal that goes around right there there's a, a rubber seal, which is Viton or NB, you know, Buna in, in the middle. Um, and these two on the outside. Those are your, usually what should be leaking. If you're top out your cylinder or bottom it, these balls are the ones that leak. Uh, and, it, you know, and it drops on you over time, etc. Or if you're having issues. Externally would be just this piece. Two O-rings and that those two seals in there. That's usually external leakage. There's nothing on a housing that should leak internally. That should be your problem when you're dropping down a little bit, or it's your valve body. But you know, that's a little diff that's a different story. That could be a unit that's replaced. These get a little expensive. It's about 500 per. Hope that helps you. Uh, what you're seeing inside. This is a three quarter inch nut. No nothing major. You do need a pretty 30 inch extension to break that off and and release it don't be scared again on the springs they don't jump out at you um you just back off that nut go right ahead okay